Wiley Festival in Prestonsburg. Sponsored by the Jenny Wiley Festival Committee. Hey, we're down here at the Jenny Wiley Festival. We're having a great time. The weather is beautiful. A little bit of wind, some sun, some clouds, but it's awesome here. We're having a great time. We'd like to invite everybody out. Yeah, my name's Paul Mead from Paintsville, and we're down here enjoying the Jenny Wiley uh, Festival. And uh, we'd like to invite everybody to come down. They've got some nice arts and crafts, nice food, and uh, nice friends and everything. Uh, you know, we might see a few clouds here and there, but guess what? If it's raining outside, it's sunny in here, and that's what counts. <laughs> well, it's raining outside uh, right now across a good chunk of the coverage area. Pinpoint Doppler showing rain right along Highway 80 and to the south across most of the region. And uh, those rain showers will continue for the next several hours. Temperatures also have cooled off quite a bit from earlier. We were in the 80s this afternoon, now down to the 60s, low 60s pretty much across the board. You can see steady light rain for most of the region. That will continue for a few more hours as this cold front continues to trot off to the east. It's going to be a few more hours before it moves on out and behind it some much cooler temperatures. In fact, those low 60s we're seeing right now, that's about what we're going to see tomorrow afternoon for highs. We'll dip into the mid 50s and low 50s overnight tonight. Watch out for some patchy fog on the morning commute tomorrow as well as a scattered shower or two. But by the afternoon skies, should begin to clear out a bit. Let's break it all down with future view going hour by hour. If you're heading out to the Ginny Wiley Festival tomorrow, much better weather. Well, today wasn't bad up until when the storms rolled in, but uh, it's going to be much nicer as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Then as we go into Sunday, a little cool start, 40s for lows, and then by the afternoon, we're heading back into the 70s. So it's going to be pretty nice overall. And the pattern is getting ready to take a turn to something more closer to typical fall. We've been a little above average the last few days. Well, that cold front moved in today, and we've got another one coming in on Monday, and that's going to bring us a reinforcing shot of fall air. Here's a quick look at the seven-day forecast, and you can see slight chance of rain Monday evening because of that front, and then 70s and dry conditions for most of next week, Matt. Shaping up nicely, Shane. Looking pretty good. I'm looking forward to it. Can't complain, Shane. Thanks so much, and thank you for joining us tonight. Hope you have a great weekend. Let's check in now with Gary.